I have been trained to do things, but I have never saved a single life. I'm just an instrument. There's someone far more powerful than I who does all of the saving. And we all say amen yeah. to that. So I have a question here for you. Have you ever seen a case where uh, it couldn't be explained how a person got better? You know, I've, I've often You're probably heard, asking me if miracles happen? Is that what well, you're leading I, up to? I'm not asking if they happen. I'm asking if you have ever witnessed such. Yes, I have. I remember vividly uh, when I first started out in practice, I took care of a gentleman over at Southside who was a diabetic and his left foot was just ulcerated down to the bone. Wow. And I had been trying and trying to see if we could, you know, cure it by the usual means. And finally my chief of surgery said, uh, you know, that guy will be in the hospital probably two years and that ulcer will not have healed because of the poor circulation in his foot. And he said, you know, you would be better off to go ahead, amputate his foot below the knee. You can put him in a, in a prosthesis. He can be walking in less than a month. And I said, okay. And I went to the patient and I said, uh, this is what my chief who trained me, this is what he suggests, and this is what I think we should do. He says, Dr. Perry, you're not gonna take my foot off. And it didn't happen. He didn't let me take my foot off. He left the hospital. And I happened to be walking downtown about a year or two later, and I heard someone behind me call me, believe it or not, Dr. Perry. <laughs> I turned around and you know what he did? He took that foot and he waved it at me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so something happened. Wow, no, he something didn't, happened. He didn't, huh? have, he didn't have his foot amputated and uh, he made the right choice. Wow, what a story. We're gonna take another break and when we come back, we're gonna talk about the business of the healthcare industry. Okay.